Hello, Earth Signs. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to your transformation reading. I figure so many of us are going through so many changes. This is a very timely reading. Also, I was finding the general readings weren't getting the same traction. You know, people love to see, it seems, to hear about how they're going to change. And look, which I don't blame you. <laughs> I like those things too. And since I'm going through so many changes myself, Earth Signs, I've decided to do this reading. So I changed the perspective. Um, let me know what you think, okay? I think the sound is clear, and it might be a little better. You'll be able to see the cards yourself more. Um, and because I'm talking about change, by the way, I believe this is Dusty Rose Selenite. I could be saying it wrong. It is about stopping cycles, I believe. You know, uh, you know the things that you do over and over again, a change, and you need to change the pattern. I love this. It's pretty cool. Uh, then I also have, and I say this wrong, I just did the air signs, and I never say this right, stomatotite. And I call them both crystals in the air signs reading. They're not, I don't know that this one would be considered a crystal. It's very interesting. If you get a chance, I'll, I forgot to put Instagram. I have to put Instagram in there so you can see because I actually have a picture and uh, where I bought it and everything. So, And that is about transformation, so it's very appropriate right now. So Dark Mansion Tarot, what do Earth Signs need to know about their transformation? What's going to be going on for them? Uh, Earth Signs at the uh, end... I do pull cards specific to each sign for transformation. Um, you know, what is your focus for your sign? Let's see here. Earth signs. Anything from the Dark Mansion. Well, it doesn't look like Dark Mansion is talking. I apologize for the time here. Yeah, we're just going to skip them, I guess. You know, we know they, they don't always talk. So we're going to go to the traditional tarot for you guys. For earth signs, let's see. What do earth signs need to know for what's going to go on with their transformation? What's going on here? This is a timeless reading, so wherever, whenever you get to it is when you're supposed to see it. Okay, so earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Wow. So you guys start off with the burden card, and this is the heavy burden. This is the Ten of Rods. You have been carrying some burden for quite some time now. There's where you're going to be dropping them off. So you're almost there, but it's not over yet. So, but the nice part is, is this is like you can see the end in sight. You know, you can see the finish line. So that, that's a good sign, right? So there's something that you're transforming that is ending something that you've been doing for a while now because we are up to the 10. Um, you've been doing this and it's creating a problem with where you're having the, the feeling of the five of pentacles. Here are these people. They're injured. They're cold. I mean, she's barely got anything wrapped around her and it's snowing. They're barefoot in the snow and they are not going into the nice warm church. So you don't feel welcome wherever you are carrying this burden. Not only are you carrying a burden and doing something you probably don't want to be doing, you don't even feel like anybody's appreciating it. It just doesn't seem to matter. I don't read reversals, so bear with me. I will turn that right around. The Ace of Wands. Look at that. That is a gift. That's the hand of God coming out and saying, here. Here is this opportunity for you to do something. That's what that Ace of Wands is. So your transformation is coming in the fact that you are going to get an opportunity. And I'm wondering if, I'm, I'm going to go back to the Dark Mansion now, Earth Signs, if this opportunity doesn't come because someone has been watching how hard you've been working. Although you may feel like you've been left out in the cold, I kind of get the sense that somebody's been watching you. They see how hard you're working, you know. Let's see. Let's see. So Dark Magic. See, Page of Wands. There's that. Here's There it is. Passionate new beginning. Could be dealing with a younger fire sign, earth signs. Look at that. 
And as I say that, we have the Temperance card, which is Sagittarius's card, Patience. And I really feel that you have been very patient. I mean, look at this. You've been working your tail off, you know, doing it. Maybe, maybe this is about doing it on your own and feel like no one's there to support you, you know. But out of the, you know, out of the blue, and I say out of the blue because I don't think you, with this card here, it's, it says you don't feel like you've been supported. But then here it is. There's a pat. There, there's this. This opportunity comes, like I said, pos possibly from a younger fire sign, like a Sagittarius, and, but, not but. So we, I want to get more on this because, with the, Temperance card talks about patience, almost like biding your time. And if you look here, this Page of Wands, he kind of looks like that, doesn't he? Like you know, I've been thinking about this and. You know, I've been contemplating what to do. So, here we go. Let's see. This is the Mythic Tarot deck. Let's see here. Clarify more for Earth Signs, please. Card for Earth Signs. The Earth Signs need to know. I'm going to take the top card in three, two, and one. Wow. Oh my goodness. Ten of Swords. You have got one heck of a rough time you've been going through. Not only are you carrying a burden doing something you don't want to be doing, but you're obsessing in your mind about it. The good news is, is you've got the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. So this obsessive worry and concern over things will be going away. You're almost at the end. And now it makes sense. So what this is saying is that, oh shoot, sorry, earth signs. Like I said, new setup, getting used to things. My apologies. I not, I pushed cards into it. Sorry, I need longer arms. <laughs> so this is saying earth signs that you have to have patience. Um, the offer is coming. You may actually be worrying about this. Maybe You've been doing this in an effort to get this opportunity. Maybe you've been working towards, I feel like, a uh, promotion or or something that will make you, uh, may, maybe you become the page of wands then. This offer makes you be the, the new person. Maybe it changes, like maybe you go from one department to another, or maybe you become a supervisor, but you are the newest of the supervisors. But it's going to, you have to be patient and the Ten of Swords is saying, you know, you've been worrying and worrying and this is going to come to an end. And because of the way this Ten of Swords is with this person laying on the ground, the swords aren't in them. This really is about you feeling um, mentally overcooked, you know, which Earth signs I completely get. So, wow. Good news is it's coming to an end. So let's get you guys a uh, Oracle of the Unicorn card. So what else is this going to tell you? And then we're going to get each individual sign a uh, Spellcasting Oracle card, which will be specific for what each of you need to focus on for this transformation. I really believe this for you is a uh, an opportunity in your career. Let's see here. Let's see here. Three, two, transformation for earth signs. Oh my goodness, too many cards for you guys. Two, and one. The one that got stuck in my hand. I like this. Best four letter word there is hope. Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. That is so funny. Look at him. He has, not only does he have a goatee and what looks like a mohawk, but this unicorn has attitude. And I think what this is saying is, you know, it, it is really, it's so funny. We're talking about all these things and losing hope and not feeling like you belong. But this opportunity that you're working for, towards does come. You've had to be patient and you're so worried. And this is so 
perfect. All this that you're going through, however you're feeling right now, it's going to get better, this card says. So keep the faith. This is not forever, okay? So, Earth Signs, let's move to your Spellcasting Oracle cards. We're going to start with Taurus. Let's see here, Taurus. Card for Taurus. What does Taurus need to focus on for their transformation? Three, two, oh boy. So you got two cards, Taurus. Oh, I love it. Manifesting and financial heal health. So this says manifestation card is very similar to the magician. It's uh, that whole law of attraction. You can create what you want. You know, you have the power to do this and create financial health. And what did I say? I thought that this was possibly you looking for or working towards a promotion or a new job where, you know, you're going to stop worrying. Your burdens are going to light and you just have to be patient and, you know, keep gear, keep your head straight. And Taurus, this says you have the power and you will be able to create financial health and improve it. But you have to believe it first. So practice your manifesting skills, Taurus. You know, what you think about, bring about. Every morning, you know, think positive. I can, I am, I have, whatever it is. Think it, feel it, and work with that energy. Look in the mirror and say it. And, you know, your mind works to make things happen. So, Virgo. What does Virgo need to focus on for their transformation? Virgo. Three, two, one. Virgo, grieving. Wow. So, Virgo, what this really may have to do with for you is this burden, feeling left out in the cold, and this opportunity, this might be an opportunity for you to move forward in how you, uh, I want to say in how you do things, but not physically necessarily do things, but how you think about things. And I say that because of looking at the Ten of Swords with temperance next to it. To me, it's almost like learning how to care for yourself. You know, do you take the time to, what, to take care of you? and your emotional needs? Or do you just keep going and going until, you know, well, I've let this go, so what does it matter? And then there's just one sword after another in you of all the things that you have stopped taking care of and stopped caring for yourself. And I think that this could be in relation to something that you've gone through. In this grieving card, do you see people and bodies and what looks like water and a butterfly. And to me, you see the little spots here? I know that in some photos, they just, they, they have a name for them, orbs, I think. And these could be spirits. And I feel like you may be carrying the burden of the fact that some of the people that you love are not with you, whether they've passed on or just aren't in your life anymore. And for you, transformation comes from allowing yourself to grieve and move forward. Care for yourself, grieve, and move forward. So, Capricorn, what do you need to focus on for your transformation? Let's see here. Capricorn, three, two, one. Peace. <laughs> You need to focus, Capricorn, on peace. And it's very similar to the Virgos where they need to focus on uh, caring for themselves and allow themselves to grieve and move forward from people or things that they've lost. For you, it's just a matter of finding your own peace. What brings you joy? 
Is it, you know, enjoying a thunderstorm? Because this makes me think of thunderclouds. Is it uh, just, you know, being, existing, and enjoying a day, a beautiful day outside? So for you, it's about finding peace. Maybe you need to start meditating or doing something like Tai Chi or something that just deals with calming down your energy or learning about your chakras and, and how to, you know, ground yourself. So thank you all very much for being here. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget, thumbs up. Sorry, no perspective right now. <laughs> and I wish you a wonderful, happy, transformational week. Bye-bye.